Hi, I'm Sarah from Boom Room Tigger 2 and today I thought I'd do a little clean with me video. Um, I'm in my kitchen at the moment. What I'm going to do is um, I need to clean the kitchen floor which is never the best task in the world. However, I do have a little something up my sleeve which I will share with you in a little while. Normally when it comes to cleaning the kitchen floor, um, you need to well, move all the furniture, sweep up, get all the crumbs away, uh, possibly even vacuum if um, sweeping is not good enough. And then you've got to get the mop bucket out and the mop and fill the mop bucket and eventually mop the floor and then wait for it to dry and tell everyone do not go in the kitchen, um, which is fantastic in the summer when you can leave the doors open and the windows and hopefully it will dry relatively quickly but no that's not life and with three children who like to run around everywhere there's usually footprints everywhere so i have to go back and do it all again so what i'm going to show with you this morning um is i have um i've been using the the cobalt um, vacuum cleaner um, for a little while now and they have um, the SP530 which um, is a vacuum and um, floor cleaner all in one. So um, I'm going to show you how to set it up um, and then I'll show you me using it in action and everything else. Um, I'll just point out that Obviously, I'm going to show you how to set it up. So obviously, it doesn't normally take this long to set up. It is literally not even a couple of minutes to set up, do the whole floor and everything else, and then it's done. So um, obviously, I'm going to do it a bit more slower so you can understand how I do it and everything else. Um, but yeah, it's revolutionary. Love it. So here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to show you all the various parts to the SP530 um, that connects onto the cobalt vacuum cleaner um, in order to, for you to do um, like kitchen floors or laminate floorings, wooden floors, anywhere that you have like non-carpet throughout your home, um, this can be used. So first of all, you've got the, the bottom, the main foot plate as such um, that connects onto the um, the cobalt and that just connects on the top here and um, there's um, two there's two green switches on the cobalt either at the bottom or at the top depending on your mobility um, and that just unclicks the vacuum um, segment and clicks onto under here to, to form the the new segment um, and then from that you can then you then add on to the bottom plate if I turn this over. So on here, this top bit slides forward. So I'll just show you. Anything that's green means it's a moving part, which is really good. So that helps you know which bit you've got to pull out anything else. So this bit has a foot plate that pulls out. Just tip that there. So this is the foot plate that you connect one of four different types of cloth. So on the bottom you have um, different ones. They're all different, they're all colour coded. So you've got like a grey dot one, there's a green dot one, there's a white one, um, and then you have a blue one. Now each one of these very helpfully on the back it states what it's for um, and then if you see on the foot plate it's got little feet and that shows you where the feet go into the, onto the foot plate and then it connects by a velcro and then you literally hook it over the top like so. So depending on what floor or what, what type of floor should I say that you're doing it depends on which um, pad you use. Um, I tend to use the, um, the universal one more often than not. Um, we just have tiled floors um, in the kitchen areas and the bathrooms as well. So um, I just tend to stick with this one as well. Um, for anyone who has like wooden floors or anything else, there are like a range of other ones that you can use. Now, um, you might have noticed that there's no tank on the foot plate or anything else. So to clean an entire kitchen floor, it takes 85 mils of water. Now bear in mind you would fill up 
a, a mop bucket with two, three litres plus the detergent. So that's a lot of water sploshed all over your floor and then that then has to dry as well. So this system will vacuum your floor, clean it and almost dry it to the point where you can walk over it and it's not a point, you know, your socks won't get wet or anything else. It's virtually dry, all in one go. Fantastic. So in order to do that, you need to have um, the wet the cleaning pad um, and our detergent. So they have um, cobalt clean um, and they have a special um, dispenser that puts it all onto the cleaning pad and everything else. So I will just show you how to do that now. When it comes to adding the water and the detergent required to use the SP530, um, it's quite an easy process. So the dispenser um, actually holds quite a lot, so it will last you most likely a week um, when you do fill it up. Now, it requires only a little bit of the cobalt clean, so this will last you um, quite some time, um, so you're not having to keep buying more and more um, detergent and everything else. Now, the dispenser bottle is amazing, so I'm not quite sure if you can see this, but in this bottom corner there's a little lip, um, which when you pour the detergent into it, that indicates how much of the detergent you actually need to use. So you just fill it up to that line. Do you see it a little bit better now? Um, and then that's all the detergent that you need. So that little trickle, so when you have it flat, you think, oh no, hang on, I've really not put enough in there. That is all you need to clean the floor with. Um, well, several floors actually. But. So all we need to do now is um, just fill it up the water line to the maximum, which I'll do now. And then once the water um, is filled up, simply pop the lid back on. just clicks back into place. Now on the side here that's got a gauge that goes 40, 60, 80, 100 um, and the clever thing again about this dispenser is that it will automatically um, dispense enough water required for the job at hand. So all you have to do is a squeeze of the bottle and that then brings up the amount of water needed in the top half. Then on the very top of the dispenser it's got these little holes here and then as you can see there's a gap in the middle which is to go on the cleaning pad. So all you literally do is make sure your cleaning pad is face downwards starting either end and you literally just hold it and bring it down and that automatically is letting the water out for you and you just keep going backwards and forwards until all of the water and the solution that's in this top half um, is, is bled through and has wet the cleaning cloth. So that's all of that then now in there. So the cloth itself is now wet. You can start to feel it soaking through onto the front part there. So we need to just put it into the foot plate, um, which just slides into the, the connections there. Then it has Velcro sections here to connect to the foot plate to ensure that you've got it in the right place. Push it down and then again, it's got a loop fastening on the top which just connects everything into place and stops it falling off or anything else when you come to do it. Connecting it back onto the SP530 is really easy. You just literally slide it down the runs like this, clicks into place, close the, the side panel and then it's ready to be connected onto um, the cobalt. Now you can do this whilst 
the bottom plate is connected onto the cobalt, um, which I do normally, um, but just because obviously I'm showing you how to do it, um, I'm doing it on the work surface so you can see um, how I'm doing anything else. So what I'll do now is I will connect this up to the cobalt and show you how it works in action around the kitchen floor. When it comes to um, activating the SP530, it's really quite easy. You would turn the cobalt on as you would normally as if you're going to vacuum. You'll note the bottom um, didn't actually do anything other than the vacuum um, segment start. That's because you obviously first need to tilt it, but in order to activate the cleaning pad, you have to depress this button here with your foot, which as the power is not on, obviously won't do it. And it is one of those that as soon as you stand it upright, it cuts off automatically um, so that if the doorbell rings or other children need you, it's safe to just quickly just pop up into the upright position, dash off to do whatever you need to do. Something else that's worth noting um, when you do come to cleaning um, floors or kitchen and things like that is that on the side of um, the cleaning plate, um, the pad sticks out to either side um, about half an inch or so, which just means that when you're coming to do up against baseboards or um, skirting boards or anything else like that, that means that you're even getting the best possible clean right up to the edges and um, so you don't have to go back then with a cloth to try and do the edges and everything else. Um. you a little insight of just how easy it is to clean the kitchen floor or any hard floors and um, throughout your home using the cobalt and the SP530 and um, you can find out more information direct um, on their website which I'll link um, below for you and um, but until next time that was a quick clean with me and I'm Sarah from Boo and Ticketoo